Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. This is part three, and this video is about grace. Now, what do they mean when they say simple elegance and refinement of movement? Now, they're referring to grace in a profane, right? A fake way, profane, artificial, superficial. There's a bunch of rich people at, at the princess's ball, a bunch of rich people at a nice restaurant, a bunch of rich people in some privileged church. That's not grace. And I'm going to tell you why. Long ago, there was capoeiras in Brazil, and they, they, they do flips, and they do kicks, okay? And they'd have what is called a graceful execution. But that, too, is not grace. Because grace, in a narrow sense, the narrow road to heaven, a narrow sense, is God's grace. The story of David and Goliath is imperfect, partially because he didn't use a sword. Now, what's the difference between using a sword and a sling, you might ask? Using a sword requires a graceful execution if you are fighting on God's behalf. Using a sling is just like it can be seen as a lucky shot. And lucky has to do with gambling, for example, or a card game, you know, whether or not you're gambling. It's luck, a stroke of luck. You be playing basketball and, and you're, you're lucky that night, you're on fire, right? but not the divine fire of God, a stroke of luck. So what is a graceful execution? It's something that you're not going to see in my videos either. Why? Because they covertly edit them. But it's something that if you have sense and insight and discernment and sound judgment and wisdom, you're going to know that I've lived every moment of my life and no immature people in a social club in, or otherwise can ever take away from that in reality, in the eyes of God. In the eyes of God, what is true grace? Grace is when I made my top martial artist legal and peaceful outdoor sparring challenge and I win every moment of every day. Grace is when I continued because God allowed me to live and didn't allow these worms to think that they should kill me at that time because God's in charge, not them. Grace is me beating the first challenger, fumed and poisoned and drugged, with dress socks on, on wet grass, wearing full sparring gear where he only wore some, but he wouldn't limit his movements. Winning even though my execution at the time was somewhat off. Why? Because I was sabotaged. Grace is if I ran a race, if I was a runner instead and I held 50 pounds and I still beat you at the race. You say, I don't like the way you ran. Well, I'm holding 50 pounds. You say, I don't like the way you fought. You know, you sparred rather. Well, I'm sabotaged, fumed and drugged. Grace is responding to people who say that Bruce Lee has the optimum agility. And I say, well, what about Floyd Mayweather? They're comparable at least, right? You say, well, I don't like, I don't like the way he moves compared to the way Bruce Lee moves because you put the race in grace and I put God in God grace. I'm not racist. Grace comes with righteousness and justice. It comes with focused moral intensity and moral precision. Because if the bird doesn't flap his wings to get up high, he's never going to be able to glide gracefully, is he? So it comes with a, 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 a pronounced effort, building up to it. Birds didn't just evolve overnight. Over a long period of time, they were forged by God's grace. Grace in its true form is God Almighty in His Spirit. Grace in the greatest form seen in humanity is my martial arts system. Royal African Falcon martial arts system. Why? Because it comes from God. In the story, in the construct, God created man his image. And the Babylonians would say it's somewhere either in Babylon or by Babylon. But somebody who moves with grace would say, no, God made man in his image in Africa. And to hell with people who say otherwise. It is not a Babylonian order or an Abrahamic order. Because before Abraham, I am, and I am with grace. Before Chinese Kung Fu, or Capoeira, or Filipino martial arts, or karate, I am. Before Taekwondo, I am. 
John the Baptist said of Jesus, the one who was before me is greater than I am. He said he is greater than I am because he was before me, before everyone. I am at God's right hand, my soul. That's the argument being made there. And the expression of God's grace is greatest in me. You could have a ballerina, profane, so what? Have a secular martial artist, profane, so what? Buddhist, Hindu, Protestant, Catholic, profane, so the fuck what? You didn't sow righteousness. You sowed rebellion. Who among you obeys God through me? So therefore you don't move with grace, you move with disgrace and rebellion. No offense to anyone, but this is the God-given truth. And if you're not going to try to unite people for what's right, you're better off not uniting them at all. All you who work for Tic Tac, write that down and consider that when you listen to my videos. You're dividing them when you unite them for what's wrong. Because there's always going to be a part of them that says they should do what's right. And you're saying, do what's wrong and unite for it. So now they're divided in various ways, in various senses, and very on various levels. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Grace is me striking at world record speed with a surgical precision. Knowing that everybody is going to hate on me and females are going to shun me, I proceeded to move with the best martial art moves ever possible on this planet. Everything else will be unnatural, rebellion, abomination, machine forged. No offense to anybody. Things of that nature. And or. But I move with truth with divine intention, divine motivation, divine determination, divine will, divine timing. My timing and my system allowed me to be the best martial artist ever possible. Moving with grace. Grace would have been if I touched my wife's face, and I don't have a wife, mind you, because of disgrace, the disgrace of people. Grace would have been how I touched her face, how I said my I do, how I gave her the first kiss. But society is so full of disgrace that on a world of nearly 8 billion people, they prevented that from occurring. But what God has in store for me is far greater than that. And the punishment for those who went out of their way to prevent me from having true love with a woman on this planet is extreme. If love transcends all, then their punishment must transcend all. If love is the answer, then eternal punishment for them is the answer. If they tell God that they're going to deny His Son love no matter what, heaven must be denied to them and their offspring no matter what. And not just the people who are aware, all those who didn't have the wisdom to find the way, the truth, and the life, and I am the gate. Obedience to me is the way. It is the greatest commandment. Those who love me obey my commands. And I am the mouthpiece of God with a bunch of worms seeking to interfere with technology. But you know truth when you hear it. Grace is continuing to move forward despite their technological interference and disgrace is being behind this machine right now or ordering them to and say, I'm going to interfere with Jesus and pretend I'm important. That is extreme disgrace. And I thank God with all of my being right now that I am not them. I thank God that I am not them. And I thank God that I am who I am. Thank you.